The review process for the appointment of a municipal manager for Etegwini was above board. That's according to Etegwini Mayor Nkolisi Kaunda. Several attempts to fill the post have failed. The ANC-led coalition in the metro was outvoted when trying to appoint its preferred candidate. ANC's Letiwe Mjuli was there and joins us now. Letiwe, it seems that the ANC sticks to its guns. It says it did not influence uh, the, the, the preferred or influence the appointment or seek to do so, the appointment of the municipal manager. Well, Mpondo, for now, that's what the mayor is saying, is that there was no political influence into the selection process of those candidates. But the question that still remains is whether Etiguini mayor, uh, the Etiguini municipality will have a municipal manager anytime soon. And that's because this process has been marred by allegations of political in interference and also opposition parties calling for them to be a part of the panel of the selection, um, of selecting candidates. So, so far, on Monday, the council here in Eteguini rejected the recommended candidates, saying that um, they believe that the process was not fair and they are calling for them to be a part of this um, process. The DA specifically has come out and said that they do not, that they do, do not believe that this process was above board. Such, um, those are the words by the mayor, of course, and they are saying that this process needs to start afresh. Uh, the DA's Nicole Graham has been very vocal, saying that they are calling for this whole process to start afresh because they need opposition parties as part of the panel. Now, the panel that is uh, currently um, putting out recommended people um, consists of the mayor, Nkolisi Kawunda, um, an ANC councillor, and someone from society. So those three people are the ones who are selecting those candidates. And now the DA is saying that a member of the opposition needs to be included there. The IFP also shares the same views, saying that they believe that um, there was some political interference in the selection of those candidates. They do believe that the premier also of KZN had a hand in handpicking um, the people or one of the people that was recommended by the panel and they're saying that um, they need this process to start afresh. Of course, during the briefing um, this morning, Mayor Mulisi Kaunda did say that the process was above board and there was no political in interference. While speaking about this issue um, at this briefing, this is what he had to say. Mr. Musambele, who is seated uh, on my left, uh, will continue to act as the city manager up until the post is filled. We want to reiterate that the panel did its work diligently and did not break any law, as our sole purpose was to find a suitable candidate. We are confident that due process was followed. It is rather unfortunate that the opposition rejected the panel's recommendation on the basis of rumors and gossip which were circulated in the media. They did not raise any substantive issue to challenge the selection process which was conducted. The implications of the council decision and the way forward will be discussed at the next ESCO meeting, then we'll update the members of the public on the way forward. All right, like as you said, Letiwe, there's clearly no way forward for now. It will be discussed at the next ESCO meeting. Of course, and that next ESCO meeting will be held next week. That's what the mayor is saying. But what is going to be very interesting is whether the municipal manager will finally um, have a position or will finally actually have someone in that position. You'd remember that last year in July, um, the former municipal manager, Sipon um, Nzuza, were, was basically, his contract ended. And there were negotiations that were ongoing between the city and him, and they decided to pay him out of that contract. And that is because um, that former city manager currently is involved in some corruption allegations and that of course involves um, the waste tender that um, the former mayor of Etewini Zandile Kumete is currently in court for. So from July we haven't had uh, a municipal manager at the metro and now what the opposition parties are saying is that they need someone who is not affiliated to the ANC or someone who is 
who has enough experience for this position. And more recently, what the council is saying is that they do not believe that the recommended people will have enough experience for this position, and they do not believe that the process, of course, has been um, not uh, infiltrated by the ANC. We, of course, there has been allegations over the last two weeks about the interference. And now, when we ask the mayor about the ANC Deployment Committee having a say in this, um, because there has been allegations that the committee of the ANC actually handpicked the candidate that the panel recommended to the council, um, the mayor did say that um, there was no such meeting and that the ANC had nothing to do with the recommended, uh, with the recommended person. While speaking about that, this is what the mayor had to say. They wrote me a formal letter. They accused us that the ANC Deployment Committee sat and decided on three names and all of that. I responded, and my response still remained the same. There is no Deployment Committee that sat and decided on the candidates of the city manager's position. Why we are saying that? The ANC is very clear in how it deals with its own business. I'm not speaking on behalf of the ANC, but as a deployee of the ANC. The only limit that the ANC has is when it deploys us as mayors, deputy mayors, as you know that we conducted interviews before we appointed, uh, the speakers, chief whips or whips of the council, and the, dealing with the list of councillors uh, who will be deployed in the municipality. So <clears throat> what is being raised in the media, uh, we've been saying to the DA, please give us evidence of what you are talking about.